Okay, hello everybody. It's me, George, back again. Uh, we're on to step six. So, for step six, we're going to need the printing platform, which is uh, acrylic part number 15. One of those, and uh, four acrylic fenders, which is acrylic part number 16. One Y-axis belt mount, which is the aluminum block with uh, four threaded holes. Four plastic zip ties, number 54. And the aluminum block is uh, number 67. Sorry, <laughs> lost my spot. Okay, and uh, number 24, two of these, which is the M3 by 10 screws. Gonna need eight of the M3 by 20 screws, which is number 27. And then eight of the M3 nuts, which is number 11. So, uh, first thing you do, you figure out which way you wanna mount this. In my case, I'm gonna have the letters down. We're going to take the two M3 by 10 screws and secure the belt mount to the bottom of the printer uh, bed. Tighten this down snugly. Again, I tighten down as much as I can with screwdriver and go about eighth to a quarter turn more. So, it's belt mount, mount it. Next, we're going to take the four acrylic fenders and secure it onto the platform. using the M3 by 20 screws and M3 nuts. And you want to use the outer holes on the fender, acrylic fenders. Right now I got the plate uh, printing platform upside down. Just so uh, gravity can help me or hinder me at the current moment. Sorry about the noisy train. I usually pause it during that time, but uh, didn't feel like it right now. Again, two screws to the outer, M3 by 20s, secured down with the M3 nuts. purpose for these is that the linear bearings for the y-axis will sit in these acrylic fenders right here.
skin using a pair of pliers just to secure the nut back as I tighten this. Right now I'm just using a pair of pliers to hold the nut in place as I tighten the screw. This will be the finished product. Make sure these will all go the same direction. Uh, they'll line up already, just based on the hole spacing. <clears throat> Set that off to the side. Bring back in our Y-axis. Now, when we secure the print bed to the linear bearings, we should make sure the spacing is correct, and they'll just nestle themselves inside. And up all four. When all four are nestled, we're going to take the zip tie insert down through one hole, pull it across, round the bearing, back up through the center, other center hole, excuse me. with the zip tie secure those in place like so Sure. Smooth motion across your smooth rods through the bearings. Now that I've secured the first one, I'm going to repeat the step. And you got to be careful not to get the threaded rod. We'll do this one. We'll do that side upside down. Secure the other. sideways. I'm going to insert, I'm going to feed this around the bearing and in front of, above the threaded rod. So thread rod, make sure you can't, you don't want to get that. That'll just act as a break. Feed it back through the center hole and secure it.
and pull down the zip tie, ensuring that your bearing is inside this bracket. I'm sure there are extra zip ties, but no need to waste them. Now the last one. for now.